I feel sorry for kids today because I think it's, you know, they wake up and they're traumatised for breakfast with news and they're looking at everything they haven't got. And, you know, everyone is a snapshot of these perfect lives that, you know, you don't see how the other person on the other side is wanting what everyone else has got or hurting themselves or the pain it took for them to get there or the pain they've been through in their lives. You just see this perfect image. And I think it's just, you know, I think it is really sending kids over the edge these days. Around that time, we were all searching for a bit of nostalgia. Do you know what I mean? Like when we were, we, no one wanted to look forward. No one wanted to really be that present because the present sucked. So we were all looking back at the better times and stuff. And for, for me and for, I know for Jordan and for our band was like the good times were those, you know, 2000s when all these new metal bands were blowing up and rock was at the top of its game and stuff like that. It was so, you know, it ended up just being like, you know what, let's stop trying to fight it and let's just make a big, fun, dumb rock song and just release it. We hurt ourselves for fun. Force feed our fear until our hearts go numb. Device addiction is, it, it's like, it's a real addiction, do you know what I mean? But we don't, we don't talk about it because we're all doing it, do you know what I mean? It's not like cigarettes or, you know, drinking or doing drugs where some people are doing it and people gather around and say, well, we're worried about you. It's like, no one talks about it because we're all fucking doing it. So it's, it's just like, uh, you know, this song's just trying to, I guess, make some sense of it all. Addicted to a lonely kind of love. Social media is just this generation's heroin. Getting those likes on social media, it's addictive, do you know what I mean? It's like, it's like a drug. It symbolizes a gain in reputation. And it makes you feel liked, but it never makes you feel loved. If you give it too much time and you give that, that whole world too much attention and, and you rely on it too much for, for approval or whatever, it's just, there's no happy ending there. What I want to know is how we got this stressed out, paranoid, everything is going dark, nothing makes me sadder than my head. I want people to know that you are not your brain, do you know what I mean? You are not your brain, we are something else. We are an energy, we are a force that will be here after our brains are gone and I think like we have to remember that, we have to remind ourselves that sometimes like when you look in the mirror and you start being negative about yourself, don't, you know what I mean? Love yourself. You need to love yourself. You need to show yourself love because your brain will turn on you if you let it, do you know what I mean? And if you don't nurture that self-love, then you, that horrible side of your brain will win. I'm running out of teardrops. Let it hurt till it stops. I can't keep my grip. I'm slipping away from me. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what, you know, aside from that, I didn't know what to do with myself. I didn't even, you know, I didn't feel like me. Like the persona of me and that band had become so much of just what I lived out every day. It'd be like, I'm like, oh my God, what, like, I just, I really struggled with my ad identity. The world works when it's running, right? Like when everything's running and moving and everyone's buying and consuming and working and everything, it, it runs. But as soon as that stops, it's fucked. Do you know what I mean? It, it doesn't know what to do. As soon as, as soon as something stops it, 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 it doesn't work. It's so fragile. Do you know what I mean? And that's how I felt as well. I felt like when I stopped and when everything I did stop, I was like fragile. I didn't, I wasn't like strong anymore. I didn't have that power inside me and stuff. And it, you know, just like we need to work out in the world, like how we can go forward and not make the same mistakes again and not make this life that we're currently living in our future forever. Like I had to do that on myself as well on a personal level. Oh God, everything is so fucked, but I can't feel a thing. The emptiness is heavier than you think. It's all in your body at the end of the day. It's just, you know, sensations, but it's like, how can, how can I feel so empty and so heavy at the same time? It was just like, a, a, it was a trip, you know? I'm tripping on the edge. High as a kite, I'm never coming down. And if you hear me, guess you know how it feels to be alone. The best thing you can do is talk. The best thing you can do is let yourself feel what you need to feel. And, you know, it, 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 it will get better if you want it to. 
Suicidal, violent, tragic state of mind Lost my halo, now I'm my own antichrist I can speak as someone who's been there, as someone who's, you know, been in a place where I didn't care if I lived or died and, and, and trapped myself as such and, you know, nearly lost my life to a bunch of stupid things because I couldn't care. It's like, I didn't think I would ever get better. Do you know what I mean? In that point, I didn't think I'd ever get better, but I found a way to talk to people, to open up, to get it out. And even though I thought, I'm, I'm crazy forever, I'm never going to be fixed, I, I, I fixed myself. Do you know what I mean? It's, you know, it's an ongoing struggle, but life is beautiful you know sometimes it's hard to see that but it is and you don't want to die no one really wants to die if you don't get up you might never see someone that you know it might be the best day you ever have and you'll never see that if you don't get up if you don't try if you don't fight for it so this is heavy shit that i'm talking about but i want the people listening to that to know that i, I feel them do you know what i mean i feel what they're going through i've been there i go through it i still go through it we worry about destroying the world that's never going to happen we, are, we haven't got the power to destroy the world. We've only got the power to destroy ourselves. The world will be here if, long after we've gone, but we won't be here for very long unless we do something about it. Do you know what I mean? So it's up to everyone. Like, do you want to be here? Do you want your kids to be here? Do you want, like, do you want, do you want us to survive or do you want us to go?